Hey and welcome to the MX-5 guide on Jefferson Circuit in iRacing. The key to mastering this track is patience. If you overdrive the car around here, it will understand almost every corner. Whenever you have the feeling that the car is not going into the turn, then your entry was probably not wide enough, your entry speed too high, or both. So lean back, take it easy and focus on a clean line and you will most likely see the first improvements before you even try to push the car. Let's jump into the guide. We are on the main straight where you want to position the car on the far left edge of the track. But always check your mirrors, the next braking zone is the only spot where you can attack, so block the inside if needed. The first braking zone hasn't any great markers, like many others around here, you can use the wall on the left or the dark tree on the right to keep track of your position. Go hard on the brakes and shift down into first gear. Aim for a clean line around the curb and try to be early on the throttle. Touching this curb can initiate a slide, that's why you want to avoid it. We want to get a right entry into the next right hander, that's why you want to attack the inside curb of the second turn and push the car to the left. Lift on the entry into the right hander and wait until the car turns in. You want to sacrifice the entry of this turn to exit on the very far right and set the car up for the upcoming hairpin. Once you feel confident with your line, you want to give the throttle a short aggressive touch. This will push the car further to the right on the exit. Again, we don't have any great markers, but you can use the road markings for orientation. This turn is also not that difficult and after a few runs you get a good feeling for it. Stick to the right side of the track and prepare to be aggressive on the throttle to get a good exit onto the straight. Avoid the inside curb, it unsettles your car which will cost you time on the straight. Position the car on the very far right edge of the track and the marker I'm using here are the sandy spots between the grass. It's not great, but it's something. Don't be too aggressive on the brakes, we want to hit a smooth transition onto the next straight. Attack the inside and be aggressive on the throttle to carry your speed towards the last turns. We are heading into the last combination. Enter it on the right edge of the track and use the marshal post on the left or the pathway on the right as indicators for braking. Stay on the brakes and decelerate steadily while keeping the car on the inside of the track. There's this big tree on the left, after which you want to let the car swing towards the middle of the track to get a good entry into the last apex. That way you open up the path to a nice and wide exit which allows you to accelerate early onto the main straight and towards the finish line. That was the guide lap, the cockpit lap is coming up next. Thank you for your support, I wish you all the best for the next weekend, see you next time.